Morning guys, we're back. We're gonna, um, it's a bit rubbish weather today, so we're gonna set up for this uh, this porch. Um, we're building it out of oak, so we've already put a couple of beams already, and then um, we're just drilling these uh, mortises out, and then chiseling them out like this, look. And then uh, that'll um, give us as mortise holes, and then we'll pull us tenons in that we're just sorting out. So it's only a tiny porch, so literally that's the length of it, like 1300. And then this beam will go that way. So say they're, they're going to be in as um, stonework. That's what these cuts are for. That'll sit on stone. And then that'll have as post going up. But obviously it'll be flipped round. You'll see in a bit. We're just prepping it up for mortise and tenants. And then uh, we need to do a little cut out on these two here. And then that'll slot onto these at that end, on top of it, underneath it, and then we'll make some posts that fit into here. Right, this is where it's going. Uh, I've already cut this beam, so we need to make it right there. So I've just put it there. That's gonna be as posts, obviously, that's gonna be at this end, so we can work as well. So centre that beam, and then we'll go 220 wide, I think they're 280, and they'll go on top. But we want as centre of his wall to be centre of this these beams so it looks nice when it goes up. That's the idea, so I've just used this one to set it out. I've got a few out a minute and then I need to like have a two ended pieces here. I'm going to put the double one on though at a minute because I've, um, this one's going to be hidden, which is good. I'll put that in there. I've got my little, my little level. Try and uh, push them out a bit because get on this lip a bit. one straight on top of that it's a bit stiff this cement is what we had left but I need it stiff because I think it's going to rain again Yeah, I've got to try and get two courses uh, width-wise, so we've like sort of chiselled them all back. But it's going to be a lot of chiselling to try and keep this at 220. Because these stones are really thick. Let's have a look. Yep, that looks alright. back in later
raining already. conservatory stone over there and uh, this is it so this is what we're using up and it what it we're just facing then a block wall inside and we're trying to build a nine inch pillar out of it a uh, nine inch wall out of it so pretty hard work so i'm just popping tops on now so we did this over a couple of couple of days because it just kept raining I'll make sure I'm level first. I want this as a, oh, have we got a flatter one than that? Because that's where the post sits on here. It's got a bit of stuff on that. Is that flatter? Yeah. Mm, it's not great, mm -hmm. is it? Oh, it's flatter that way. It's upside down, all that way. Yeah. Let's have a look at that one. What's that on like? It's upside down, it's not too bad. It's just that end, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit crap. Right, we'll get another. Yeah. Right, we'll try again. Got a flat one this time. So, I just want these nice and level. This is the main thing. Nearly there as well. Oh God, I thought I'd done that. <laughs> Thick one, this one. Mm. Uh, hopefully. Right, this is where the clench your bottom time now because we've already made this post and if I've got this measurement wrong then um, You're oh, whoa. I've lost the post. Never tell me which way you're turning it. I'm turning that way. You're about centre there. What oh. you look like. Oh, I'm straight. What you like for you? Well, I've got five no gap on my side, you've got about 20. Yeah, I'll reach it out a bit then. Yeah, you got ten. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna measure this. See what we've got here. Let's see. Just double six five. Six no, it's less. Six. Go to your way just a little tad. Couple of rows. There we go. Two more. Well, I'm just back to where I want. Wrong. 65. 65. 65. Mm. That to me. Spot on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. This is an owl bit that I got to give uh, by uh, one of the people who watch YouTube called Tim. Absolutely brilliant. I've never, uh, I don't like them before. They just fly through anything. You don't really have to put any pressure on them at all, they're absolutely excellent. They... 
Boxes run out now, like, but <laughs> she get the drift. <laughs> So to get in there, Tim's just doing that, Josh is just cutting that out, and that's going to be it. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> so that's going to go, that'll go up and then we'll mark this and then just chop that off. Then we'll put a ridge board that way. It's pretty small, but that's because it's only 1200 wide. We could have made it a bit higher, but just, I think it'll be alright like that. Then it won't need no on sides and rain won't come through because there's not going to be that much of a gap. And this one here, we've done a little cut out there. This is going to be ridge beam across the top. Other way, I think it will fat end. It's a bit thinner that end, isn't it? Let it go. Yeah. Once we nip that in a little bit, it yeah. should should nip it tight, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to look well. Josh is just making some oak lats we're going to make so it looks nice underneath because we're not going to have any um, felt on, roofing felt. We're just going to be able to see tiles so it'll look quite nice. What do you want that screw in, yeah? Got it? Why? When I pick a drill up, battery's dead every time. Why? Why? Because we all use it. Hang on, Matt. Screw it out the set up. Looks like it can just come back a bit more. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Just did exactly the same. Yeah, that'll do. It's only to hold it for now, innit? Yeah. We'll nail it when we put roof up eventually. Yeah. Might as well, uh, Got a couple of tiles there, I'm going to set lots out while we're here as well, may as well. That's it look, we've got a few tiles just to test it out, so that bit's done. We're just cutting us post, cut us post to length. Uh, Josh is just finishing this all off, the bit's completely done in, that's why we're smoking a bit, but a bit of graft and it'll go in, a bit of pressure and then uh, these are these, just got some threaded bar, 12mm, that'll go in there. Uh, we've got some resin. I don't know where resin's gone. We have got some resin, and that's gonna. We'll put that in first, squeeze bar in, and then we're gonna have to drill through the top of that wall and then uh, slide that in. They're gonna be pretty much like that, yeah. quite deep. Well, no, 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 it'll be like, it'll be like that. Just wanna put it. <laughs> half and half. Half and half. <laughs> right, it's a two on job of this, so I need to get it right. So I'll uh, get back to you in a minute. Yeah, I've ended up using wire brush because it's super, super tough. I like to catch it before wire brush, uh, but you know. It's been uh, that bad this weather, so you just give it some like that, and then you got soft brush, and then soft brush it, and then it leaves a decent joint. So I'm gonna have to. Um, there's a few bits, so I'm gonna have to refill though. It's because we did it in rain. It's just made it. Every, just makes everything hard work, doesn't it? Then you miss things. It's just a nightmare. 
you can get this in though, look, it's a lot easier and then that gives it a lot better. This is going to need jet washing though to get all green off so it matches, matches rest. Alright, uh, we all jumped on it and got some, uh, got it pointed, ended up using the um, wire brushing end because it was that hard. Just a couple of bits to fill, a couple of holes that came out but it's been a bit dry, so I've got bottom to point of that one anyway, so get a mix on and uh, just point them up probably when I do that so we've got these two pockets out I've already marked them up they're in line with this here so that's centre and then centre of them so it's two like uh, 200 above the um, lintel because any more and it'd uh, hit the lintel because I've got lintel coming out to about here look so that's why we've done it that high just to clear the lintel because it's got a damp tray and everything behind there so you don't want to be getting it lower because you'll be basically water vapour would rot the timber at the back so you want to be above it so so that post is going on there we've just sat it on got it right drawed around it and then what I did on here is I put a line from there to there line from there to there and then that gives us centre so if I do the same with other side with this that I've drawn on um, they all should be perfect without measuring, so if I do that, here add that sack. So if I if I go from corner to corner again because it's posted at all different sizes you see. So that hole we've drilled will be centre at post but like measurements will be different if I take measurements so if I do that that is a centre so you can see a centre line look slightly off but that post will be the same slightly off so, right. so this is like 70 so yeah it's going to be right this is a two part resin. We're going to put it in here and then into the wall as well. We'll squeeze it through a bit so it mixes. So it's, at the minute it's that colour, look like a light colour. Squeeze it, it should be grey or a different colour. It's going a bit dark and uh, squeeze a bit more through. So now it's gone like a grey colour. Pull that right in. We've got uh, 
um, got it all braced up and it is solid now before we've even put the pegs in because we've used these lot, these construction screws uh, just, to, just to pin it to where we want it and then we can uh, put us pegs in later because we haven't got pegs yet so cheers yeah I've seen this one I got this from Lidl, this is Lidl, six quid, I know it's a bit expensive for these, because I don't even know, well I've used one and seem alright, well the drill bit's low, bit quirky from Lidl, so uh, while we're getting my beer the other day I thought I'd get one of these, I also got some uh, diamond disc blades as well for like four quid or two, which I've been using that are pretty, pretty good like, quite quirky that isn't it? Uh, we've already got us lines on for us lats when we marked it all up earlier, so all I've got to do put on his lines and we'll fire big 90s through it because uh, that's all I can find. Well, it works. Well, after that, my lap down. These nail gun does not like going through this massive hole. I've got jam already. Oh no. Release it. There, there you go. go. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, try again. It's a smaller nail, so. Right. Uh, right, another lap, mate. Another lap. Oh, might want to turn that one the way around, mate. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I've made these laps out of um, out of oak, so they look nice underneath. Because um, we we're not. Um, we're not going to felt it or anything, so we want, uh, we're just going to have it so tiles are seen underneath, which will look a bit smarter. It'll look better than felt anyway. It just bends nails when it hits knots on this hole, it's not that strong. There we go. I'm just bobbing these tiles on. And they'll go like that, and then what we'll do is I'll lift these off and we'll put some cement under them, and then uh, and just I'm just putting a couple of screws in, you know, for wind, and then um, they don't blow off basically. Try under that. Square it up a bit. There we go. Three tiles, that's it. So this looks a bit rubbish here, so I sort of made a, a big board that went over there and all the way to the top and just so didn't look right. Then I was gonna put that on, that didn't look right. So I've sort of cut it in. Well I've already I tried this on and uh, I've just altered it a little so hopefully this time uh, so this is going to go fully in and then back like that sort of thing. I think that looks a lot better like that. You think, Tim? Yeah, it looks spot on, mate. Yeah. yeah. So we need to make other one the same now. It gives a bit of extra work, but I think that finishes it off a lot better. And it pushes these tiles up a bit more. <coughs> Because we had a gap on them, so... Cool. What am I? Well, no, we're all lump ammo. Lump feel, though.
Yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna bed put a bed under these end ones, and then we're not having like a cement border. Oh, we're just gonna go straight onto this. Oh. So it's pretty dry anyway, this so it shouldn't move too much. And when you put cement boards on, they always bloody crack anyway. So. so, let's bed this on. Oh. So I can get the tile on. Okay, so I get um... catch you on that lip there. Where's the... there we go. Right, I need to do the other side. Try this up. Got a little cut. And we're just going to pull this one forward. Uh, put cut back, I think. Right, take me to and I'll cut that one, put that. I'm just filling this last bit on, it's knocking on a bit today, it's uh, time to go on. So I'll just fill this and then uh, what I'll have to do is just see what it looks like in the morning. And then I might have to just tart it up a bit in the morning. I don't know what I'm gonna, whether this is going to drop back, it seems a bit... When I fill these, I normally fill them once and then give it a few hours and then go back over it. So I'll see what it looks like in the morning. So it's the next day now. This is all flagging. Look, we still haven't pointed it. I think we're going to wait till um, basically it gets a. Um, well, it's too, too cold now. So we're probably going to wait till it warms up after Christmas, maybe February or summer, maybe. So that is the porch lock, looking good. It's all set as well. Walls are drying out pretty much. Um, same colour to be fair as that. So a little jet wash, think it'll be fine. Just got a bit of staining look there off that oak, but it'll come off. They've set all right. I've got like a, a V thing in there. Work tiles, mate. Uh, could I could cement that flat. I don't know. I'll see how, see how it dries out a bit. That's inside, look, we've just got tiles showing. It's pointless doing up with that, and then there's going to be like a little light. Light there. But yeah, that's that side. Yeah, it's worked out a lot better with that, um, with that sunk in. Me and customer were having a look, and we're like, oh yeah. Well, I said to her, oh, it don't look right, and then we come up with that plan where it just slots in. That looks, I think that looks lovely. And then lead, um, I've just think it led down because stones are, I, I don't know how it'd look if we stepped it. So she was just like, oh, we'll just put it in on um, slant like that. I don't think we're both gonna bother with gutters or anything. But yeah, well smart that. Try and just try and walk backwards without falling over. Yeah, looking good. And then today, we're over here. We're gonna, we've got some paving to put in round here that's uh, it had some old paving. Basically off that wall that we used and flags. Old flags, and we're going to do it in um, Indian round there. And then we're having like a patio here, and it's going to have like a oak gazebo. We're going to use the oak that we've got, we don't really want to buy any more. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to like put it up and have like a, a lean to roof. Uh, we've got loads of tiles left, so we really want to use them up as well. Uh, just, just use them up and make that look cool. So, I'm not going to film today, we're just digging out. Yeah, so I'm not going to film it today, we're just digging out today and then uh, we'll start filming again um, tomorrow. Um, we've, had, we've had a bit of sleep today, um, but it's not too bad. So we're going to start doing that and then, um, yeah, crack on with that. But we need, um, really, we're hoping, we're hoping weather picks up a little bit here and there. I think it's pretty much freezing cold all day today, so we're just digging out today. But yeah, so I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later.